Hey everyone, you may have seen I did a wheel build tutorial where I built this wheel. Now I'm super excited to get out and ride this thing. It's my first ever time riding on a carbon rim, uh, so that's going to be a good test. But there's one other thing I want to test as well. The guys at Cushcore were really kind and they gave me a couple of these inserts to use. Now obviously trials riding you get a lot of punches, tubeless helps a lot, but you can still rim out and either break your rim or cut a hole in your tyre, whereas this insert effectively makes everything puncture proof, even with tubeless, even hitting on the sharpest edges, or at least that's the plan. So I figured before I go out and ride my bike, I'll just show you guys how to fit one of these inserts, how to make it tubeless, so if you want to do it, you know exactly what to do. Obviously the first thing you need to do if you're going to make your tyre tubeless is seal up all these spoke holes. The best way I find is to use Gorilla Tape. You can get specialised tape out there, especially for tubeless wheels, but Gorilla Tape is easily accessible and it works absolutely brilliantly. Now I don't think taping the wheel needs too much explaining, but I will mention I normally overlap the valve ever so slightly. That's just a simply a case of pulling it tight and trying to get that in the centre of the rim as much as you can. And then when I'm coming back around to the place I've already taped, I normally go a couple of inches past that to pass where the valve was, just to reinforce the valve area. Then all you need to do is get your sharp knife, give that a cut, and then press it down into place. And really take your time to press all the way around, making sure that's really well stuck to the rim, and especially around the edges. You don't want any of that to lift up and allow any of the sealant to get underneath the tape. Now one tip I can give you is, if you're finding your tire is too loose a fit on your rim, you can always add more layers of tape just to bring up the outer diameter of the wheel. So if your tyre's falling off or it's not sealing properly, just try adding more tape and see how that goes. Now the Cush Core system comes with its own special valve. This one is extra long because I've got a pretty deep rim, just to make sure. Now a lot of people will cut a hole in the rim where the valve is, but I prefer just to make an indentation with my thumb so I know where the valve is, and then literally just pushing the valve through like that. Doing it that way the hole is exactly the right size for the valve and it just helps it seal it just that little bit more. So once the valve is in place get your supplied o-ring and lock nut and just thread those on by hand. While you're threading on give it a good old push with your thumb on the top just so it presses in more and you can get a few more turns on the threads. Okay so the next step is actually fitting the insert itself. You'll find there's a pre-made dent in your insert. Line this up with your valve, like so, and then pop that part on the floor. Now at this point, it's quite handy if you get a hammer, a broom, whatever you want, just to stand on, just to get a bit more leverage on it. Now these inserts are a super tight fit, so just try your best to stretch it on as much as you can. like that and just try and get that as centered as you can so that is now your insert fitted onto the rim okay so now this is going to be a bit of a tricky part now fitting the tire over the insert best bet is to put the insert completely in the tire and just try and get the bead over both sides like that okay so now you've got your wheel dropped into the middle of the tire we're now going to try and get the first bead installed. One tip which helps quite a lot if you're finding this bit particularly tight is just to use some soapy water as a mix just to lubricate the system trying to make the rubber a little bit more slippery. So the technique now is to roll back, push the insert in and try and fit the tyre bead in between the insert and the rim. Then it's just a case of going around the rim, feeding that bead in between the two. It can often be a bit easier to do this if the wheel is lying flat rather than vertically. Once you find the beads getting quite tight, one tip you can do is get a tyre lever and just try and push the bead of the tyre into the dip in the middle of the wheel. This should hopefully give you enough slack to get the tyre into place. Okay, so after a bit of manhandling, just trying to get that tyre well and truly into the dip, that's the first side on. Now it's simply a case of swapping this over and doing the same on this side. A 
And the same as last time, you want to try and force the tyre into the middle of the rim just to try and give you as much slack as possible. Just like that. Now a lot of people who go tubeless will actually leave the tyre off the rim, just a little section. That allows them to get the sealant into the tyre now, but I reckon this way where you fit the tyre completely is the best way for this situation. Okay cool, so hopefully that's gone well for you and you've now got your tyre and your insert fitted. Only thing left to do now is to get these beads locked into place. Now I'm just going to test my luck, I'm hoping this cush core is pushing hard enough on the beads that a normal pump will pump this up. So. Let's find out. There we go. There was a couple of bangs where the tire seated into place. So, only one thing left to do now, and that's add the sealant, just to make sure it doesn't go down, no air seeps through the tire side walls, and to add the extra bit of puncture proofness. So the way I'm gonna add the sealant is I'm just gonna let all the air out. I've actually got some of the new Muckoff tubeless sealant, so I'm going to use this and see how it works. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use this to undo the valve core. Just like that. And this stuff actually seems really cool in that the nozzle is a direct fit into Presto valves. So if this all goes well, over that little tiny bit that came out then, this should be pretty mess free. So to do this, I'm just going to stand the wheel upright, going to get my pouch, I'm just going to, is this thread on or push on? Okay, so it just pushes on, that's pretty tight fit. And then I'm going to turn the wheel the other way up, and I guess just squeeze that into the tyre. You know, I want that extra protection, so I'm just going to go for the full bag. I'm a bit of a basher. There we go. So, that is actually really, really convenient. Kind of thing I'd keep in my bag when I'm out riding as well. So, pretty cool. Bit of a plug from muck off there. And is this gonna be mess free? Let's find out. Often there's a bit of splashback, but no, we're all good. Excellent. That is sealant fitted to my tire and actually, smells pretty good as well. I'm not sure if that's on purpose, but that actually smells really nice. So then it's just a case of refitting the valve. Use the tool. Like that. I just need to pump this up now. So again, just like last time, I'm just gonna use a normal pump. The beads are now all locked into place, so this should go up even with the smallest hand pump now. That's gonna give it a bit of a shake and a bit of a spin just to get that sealant spread out a little bit grab my pump and pump away and there we have it I have now got a pimp wheel with Cush Core and it's fully sealed probably the best idea now is just to leave this for 15 minutes on either side just to let that sealant seep through the sidewalls and seal those fully because even though this tyre does work for tubeless they're not tubeless ready from the outset so it just needs a little bit of time for the sealant to stop the sidewalls from being porous. I hope you found this video useful I know a lot of people have talked about Kushkov for trials and I've heard they are a pain in the ass to fit but actually that was fairly pain free I've not made a mess I've not cut my knuckles or anything so that's all good I'd absolutely love it if you could take the time just to subscribe to my channel and also check out my social media where I update daily on stuff like these wheels. There's only one thing left to do now and that's go and test out my new hoops. But we'll save that for another day. So thanks for watching, be fluent, enjoy riding bikes this week and I'll catch you all next time. So see you later everyone. Bye bye.